Hi there, my name is Jeff Sackman. I run a website called gmathacks.com. What I want to look at today is one of the practice problems from the official guide for GMAT review, the 12th edition. We're working on the diagnostic test today. It's the data sufficiency section on page 25. So if you want to read along with us in the official guide, we're looking at question 33. It's a data sufficiency question. And more specifically, it's a yes or no question. We're not looking for the specific value of a variable. What we're looking for instead is to figure out whether something is true. In this case, what we're given is, is five to the x plus two power divided by 25 less than one. So in this case, we've got a very complicated inequality and is what we're given. We don't probably want to work with that. I certainly don't have a very intuitive sense of what a fraction like that means. So the first thing I want to do is to try to simplify it. Notice here, this is very important, that I'm not jumping to the statements. Even though I've written the statements on the board, we're not looking at those yet. First things first, we're going to simplify the question as given. So the first thing we can do, multiply both sides by 25, get rid of that fraction. So that leaves us with, 5 to the x plus 2 power is less than 25. And as we're simplifying a question, the most important thing to remember is to keep that question mark. In data sufficiency, it's really easy to get confused over what we know and what we're trying to figure out. So in this case, is 5 to the x plus 2 power less than 25? Now, you would probably know that 25 is 5 squared, 5 to the second power. And anytime we're trying to simplify an equation or an inequality, the goal is to try to make the two sides look as much like each other as possible. So if we can turn them both into 5 to some power, that's quite a good start. So we're getting a little closer. And finally, this is a big step, one you might not be familiar with. When the bases are the same, the larger power will give you the larger number. So what that means in terms of inequality or an inequality is if the bases are the same and the bases are positive, then we can just get rid of the bases. So if 5 to the x plus 2 is going to be less than 5 squared, that means that x plus 2 is less than 2. Again, we keep the question mark and we go one more step, subtract 2 from both sides. Is x less than 0? Now look at how far we've come. If you're working through this on the test, not talking through it like I am, that probably takes maybe 30 seconds. We've got a really complicated question up here, but really all the question's trying to ask us is, is x less than zero? That's certainly much easier to work with. So let's look at statement one. Statement one, again, looks a little complicated, maybe not something you have an intuitive sense of. So again, remember at this step right here, when we went from 25 to five squared, we tried to make both sides of the inequality look the same. So here, one, is anything to the zero power. So we can say one is the same as five to the zero power. So five to the x is less than five to the zero. Again, as we did, as we were working through the question, we can get rid of the bases. So this is the same as x is less than zero. Statement one tells us x is less than zero. Is x less than zero? It doesn't get much easier than that. So this is sufficient. And then for statement two, that just comes right out and tells us x is less than zero. Is x less than zero? Again, it doesn't get any easier than that. So this is sufficient as well. And if you remember your data sufficiency choices, they're always the same. We've got choice D right here. Keep in mind, the most valuable thing we did was this first step. We only really spent about 30 seconds working through the rest of the problem because we did all this hard work. If you were looking at this statement or even this more simple statement too, and you went back to the beginning, you would probably have a, a very tough climb in front of you and it could easily take way more than two minutes if you were able to figure it out at all. So just to emphasize again the importance of spending the time to simplify the question as much as you can. It can make data sufficiency a lot more manageable. So for more tips like this, for more information on my solutions to the questions in the official guide, I encourage you to head over to my website, gmathacks.com, or watch more of my videos here on YouTube. Thanks.